Hey look, we're here during one of those select dates. It has been six years since I last visited Hallow Scream here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg and that's the only visit I've ever had here. But today, I'm back. Sarah, it is your first time to Hallow Scream. Yes. And we are here as day two of Virginia's for Coaster Lovers with the Coaster Crew. We just had our first day yesterday at King's Dominion, which was so much fun. The park cake capacity though is insane. Uh, today's oh gosh, a Sunday. Yeah. Uh, park's only open until 10. I don't think we're going to be having as crazy crowds, uh, but it, it'll probably still be busy, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Made inside Bush Gardens, they put up these archways as part of the entry experience in the England section. I remember uh, last time they had like some people that were standing here in full costumes that almost looked like mannequins, like statues. They'd be staying there. Escape from Pompeii is completely drained. They have a ton of Christmas lights down at the basin. This whole area is gonna be bright blue come next month. Obligatory Pantheon mention because it's still not open, but it's gonna be open in March 2022, which is pretty exciting. The ride's over there, you can't really see it. So as part of the Coast Crew event, we get a complimentary snack, and we're gonna use ours for a dipped waffle cone sundae. You can be excessive, that's perfectly okay. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. That is sensational. Well, thanks. See you later, Taylor. Thank oh, you. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Today's event is full of lots of great opportunities. We're actually going to start things off with a behind the scenes tour of Verbolton. Had we arrived when the event actually started today, we would have gotten ERT on the attraction, uh, but we were really tired because we didn't leave Kings Dominion last night until well after midnight, so we decided to arrive a little late, but that's okay. It's gonna be a great start to the day. Before we even are in, you can already hear it. You can just hear the bass rumbling from this thing, all the sound effects. If you ever want to see what the backside of Verbolton looks like, this is it. And that's where the Giga thing is going. Welcome to Verbolton. Um, so we're gonna split the tour into two parts. We're gonna talk to you a little bit out here, and then we're gonna go inside the show building. Now to go inside the Bolton, unfortunately, no cameras allowed. See you guys after. We just came out of the Verbolton show building. It's cool watching those trains like fly around there. I mean, it is, it is very, very dark in there. It's so, like, too. honestly, the fact that we couldn't even like film there is like not that big of a deal because you would have had to have a really good camera in order to like capture that thing because. Yeah, it's pitch black. But I think the thing that was really cool is that like the, it's such a huge building that you have to like really listen to hear people screaming on the drop track from where Yeah, we yeah, because we are on the opposite side of the building. And um, I think I think one of the coolest things was just hearing all the sound effects. Yeah. Um, the sound design in the building is, is amazing. And uh, and also just uh, the details with all like the leaves and everything. You can see that some of it's like uh, it's black light painted on cardboard, or some of it's like fabric, and it's I don't know, it's really cool. The most brutal pathway in the park. If you're going uphill, uh, we're going downhill, so this is fun. I love going to this waterfront view down here at Bush Gardens. You get a great view of Loch Ness Monsters interlocking loops. You can take a Ryan River cruise and just enjoy the atmosphere. So this is a first. Apollo's Chariot is now closed because of bees. And that's the same reason that Griffin is closed. So now both roller coasters, the two biggest roller coasters in the park, are shut because of bees. And Griffin's been down for hours. And because they just closed Apollo's Chariot, and it has almost a full queue, we don't know how long this thing's gonna be down for. Yikes. When everything in this park is at capacity, you do the one ride that is somehow not going to be an insane weight. Mock Tower, the worst drop tower in existence. Are you ready to experience this? I am this? just excited to get on something. <laughs> yeah, our first ride of the day because everything else has been a bust. I'm not here until 15. And well, I'm still having fun. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Mock Tower done and 
who designed that? Somebody who hates arms. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they use the same seats from their frog hoppers for that because there's yeah. th that's that's the biggest problem with it is the seats, uh, the restraints. It's just not not well done no, for a drop not, tower. It's not comfortable, but the view is really great. That was it's a great view. It really is. That was by far the best view I've gotten of Pantheon. Yes, it is. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it rotates you up a up. If you just think about it as an observation tower, it's really not bad. No. Uh, the drop is just kind of like... It kind of hurts. Another example of them preparing for Christmas Town. This tree is so bright during the event, and it is covered in Christmas lights. I'm sorry, guys. The train is ruining my vlog. Stop choo-chooing! We decided to get quick cues because the park is so busy. Sarah, when was the last time you wrote this? I was probably 10. 10 years old. Yeah, I was really little. Wow. Over 40 years of operating, Loch Ness Monster is a gem. It is very fun. I haven't ridden that thing since I was very young. And I totally forgot that it went inside. Yeah, that is like a, a triple helix there. Yeah, it's super fun. I mean, aero transitions are not smooth. They're... No, but they didn't like have computers for that sort of stuff. No, or if I they did, it's I not to the technology them. that they have now. Yeah. So But for what it is, it's super fun. <laughs> yeah, I was telling her earlier, like that roller coaster is so iconic. Like you can make an argument that's like the most famous roller coaster in Virginia. Like I don't know if I see Bush Gardens ever taking that thing out. Like they take good care of it though for how old it is. They do. Yeah, absolutely. Any Bush Gardens locals know what this is for? Cause uh, I certainly don't recognize it. I didn't know that they were putting up a fence here. Uh, probably some sort of renovation to Grogan's Grill. First haunted house of the night. Killer and Diner. The line's already building quite a bit. This whole quick you thing, it was really, really helpful. Amazing, yeah. Shout out to Nick and Laurel. They came earlier and then they had to go home, so they gifted them to us. So you yeah. guys are amazing. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it because now, we're about to walk straight into Kill Arnie Diner. First base of the night done. That was Kill Arnie Diner, and I'm not that impressed so far. The scares were good. The scares were good. Actors, you did good. Yeah. Uh, the maze itself, I did not think was that great at all. There was a lot of black walls. Uh, it ends where you're just in Battle for Iyer's Q, which is very like um, it, it feels like a cave. But there, it, it, like, there's no set end to the maze, so it's going from like a diner, and then you're suddenly now in a cave. Yeah, there and were some really cool rooms, like the diner part. The diner room was really cool. It, it looked, looked like, like an diner. old '50s diner. I liked that a lot. But, but a lot of black walls and like uh, set like design outside of that just wasn't strong. Yeah. So yeah, I I don't know. Uh, I I hope the others are better. Well, we thought about getting food, but this is the line for Trapper Smokehouse, and unfortunately, there's no quick queue for that. Oh jeez, it is so busy. What are you doing? I gotta hand it to you. You look pretty good. Terrible pun. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just gonna rant real fast. This is the best food place here in Bush Gardens, and it is closed. And this is not the only location. We have passed probably three or four food places that we wanted to grab something to eat at because the park is absolutely slammed and the very few locations that are actually open all have crazy long lines and it's just kind of frustrating when we just want to eat something and the options are so few and I get if it's like a staffing issue but like why would you not open your best restaurant? That just doesn't make any sense to me. We're in line for the Dystopia House get really close to Escape from Pompeii here. Look at all of those Christmas lights. Hey look, we're green. It's like we're in a dystopian world. Get it? Because we just went through dystopia. I got it. It was interesting. Uh, it was alright. Uh, it was cool. They were in like plague masks and stuff and they yeah. had like some really creepy stuff on the TVs. Yeah, um, mainly uh, using like loud sounds to kind of spook people. So 
Yeah, um, it was fine. Yep. Yeah. It was cool? Yeah, solid. All right, next one. They can not to see this straight to the forest. On a busy weekend, they're only using one side. And enjoy the rest of your day, station. Push Gardens. And the line is so long. Again, so glad we have quick you. Hey, look, we finally rode something. So we've been wanting to do all day. We did that behind the scenes tour for Bolton earlier today and now we got to take a ride in on it, uh, go through the show building. We're like, oh look, we were seeing how all that worked earlier. That was pretty cool. That is a very well paced ride. You know? That's my favorite ride in this park. And it's it's consistent. It is something that you are going to enjoy every single time. It, it hits like all the marks that you really want it to. Um, it was cool to find out that they have different settings every time. Like yeah, they do. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. the theming is really what, what makes that attraction. It, it's really well done. I love the reactions to the drop track. It's yes. so funny. Yes, yeah. A lot of people still don't know about it, believe it or not. But yeah. For Bolton Spoiler alert. <laughs> Which of the woods is a brand new maze for this year? And to get to it, you have to go all the way around the back side of Fest House over to the land of where the uh, Giga Spire or whatever it's gonna end up being is is going. Yeah, that'll be back here. The fourth launch roller. The fourth the park. The, and the third swing launch. Yeah, it'll... Uh, diversity. Diversity, yeah. Bush Gardens doesn't know it. But anyways, yeah, it'll be back here. So let's go ahead and do this maze. We literally just passed Drock and Fire Station, which is already fairly far from everything else. And we're still walking. How far back is this maze? It's like really in the woods, like legit. Literally. Jeez. Witch of the Woods finished, and I think the walk to Witch of the Woods was longer than Witch of the Woods. Oh, much longer. <laughs> it was kind of Bush Gardens' take on uh, the Grimwoods maze that we just did last night at King's Dominion. Uh, the difference was this one was, you know, for being called Witch in the Woods, it was not really in the woods. It wasn't bad. A lot of scare actors in that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, costumes were great. They had uh, a couple fun little scenes. And we just got out of the last maze, which was Circo Sinestro, and I thought that was the best one. Oh, easily. It was very long, uh, lots of very fun scares, because everyone there is dressed like a clown or like a, like a carnival person. Yeah, uh, they had a really great one where there's a moment where you're watching all of these uh, clowns, and then a person comes in on bungee cables uh, just out of nowhere, because you're distracted looking at these guys, and then that's how they get you uh, with a guy that comes out of nowhere. I think my favorite was the room. It was like all mannequins. Yes. You thought it was. Yeah, I mean, it's all it mannequins dressed up, but of course there's a couple people that are real. And they would just kind of like move a little bit, and there was like enough to make you jump, and then they had one... Uh, guy dressed in all black that blended in with the curtain where you thought it was going to be a mannequin. And it yeah, wasn't. but it was a person behind there. I also so really my heart is racing, man. I also liked the scare actor that was like, I know you from YouTube, but I'm like... Way to break <laughs> character, but in a good way. And that does it for our day here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. It was kind of a weird one. Uh, we rode four roller coasters, and our first ride wasn't until like after 5 p.m. or we something got here like what, that. Noon, 12 yeah, and uh, we, well, we did knock out all of the mazes. Um, again, we kind of talked about our thoughts about Hallow Scream earlier. Um, you know, we've definitely done some events that we would probably recommend more than this one. Uh, but, I mean, we, we still tried to make the best of our day, even though it was absolutely slammed. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, that's what happens. It's right near Halloween, so, you know, you gotta deal with it. It's a weekend, so. It's a popular time of year, but, uh, yeah, overall, not too bad. No, I mean, it, it was fun. It was just really crowded. If we didn't have Quick Q, it probably would have sucked. Yeah, absolutely. So we're definitely glad that we had that. And, uh, you know, uh, big thanks to Coaster Crew for hooking us up with that uh, backstage tour for Bolton earlier today and everything. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.